Keep up the good work, lads. What? Nothing. My only begotten son. Jesus is taking over the family firm next month. Now, in the past, uh, ascension was reserved for those who'd been resurrected for at least 40 days. Then it moved on to any male heir. Now I've been told that I should encourage the next generation to become a valuable part of the business. ASAP. Dad, seriously, what? Dad's been looking at me an awful lot this week. I would be worried by it, but to be perfectly frank, it's nothing compared to the way Judas has been looking at me. Where are you going? Outside. Well, yeah, but where are you going? It's moments like this that make me wonder whether Jesus is ready for the extra responsibility. Maybe I should consider Gabriel for the position. Everybody loves him, he's an angel. Sorry mate, I misplaced my hammer so I borrowed yours. It's not a problem, is it? No. No, no, it's fine. Do I have a problem with the decision to make Jesus Jehovah's successor? No. No, not at all. If the board of directors want a family member who's not as competent as a non-family member to be president and in the process arm the well-being of the business, then that's completely up to them. Like I said, it's all about integrity. Yeah. Good night, Gov. Good night, Jesus. You're not going home, son? No, not just yet. I've got a couple of things I want to finish off here. You staying late? And then there's work to be done. You stay late. <laughs> Succession's it or miss. Does my son have all the qualities required to keep our family business running smoothly? No, I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing I do know. He'll either turn a profit or he'll die trying. <laughs>